arrived at Blackwood Manor one cold Saturday morning amidst a thick veil of fog. The weather didn't look good, and there was an unnatural calm surrounding the area, yet I soon became entangled with the place. Hello everyone, and welcome to Scratches Director's Cut. Now, there are a couple Let's Plays for this game on here, but I, when I was looking for one, I could not find one with narration. So I decided to do one myself. And as this is, in my opinion, a fantastic horror game, I decided that, well, I don't know, might be interesting. I like horror games. Alright, let's get started in this little point-and-click adventure. I'm not really sure where to start. I will be reading aloud the diaries and things that I find, so for those of you who uh, don't feel like reading, you'll have the pleasure of hearing my lovely voice read it all aloud for you lazy fox right so let's check in the car some car keys in the dash and well, let's see car keys I had only just arrived, and the idea of going driving again wasn't very tempting. Well, alrighty then. So, in this game, we are a, ironically, a horror writer who has just purchased this very ancient, uh, manor. Because, well, I don't know. I guess it's inspiring. A hefty lock was preventing my entry to the garage. Alright. Let's not going in there. Well, let's ignore the outside for now and just head straight into the mansion. This is actually a Russian game. Which I thought was fairly interesting. And apparently it's the very first... Russian game of its kind. I'm not entirely sure what that meant, but uh, whatever. I have not played this game all the way through, so I might be just as surprised as you. Locked. Fortunately, I have a key. This key, I believe. With very little effort, the key unlocked the front door. And into the manor we go. Interesting place. Very cozy. A majestic grandfather clock was gently ticking nearby. It was almost sleep-inducing, but I was glad it was working. Oh, the phone is ringing.
Hello. Michael, it's me. Hey, Jerry. It's good to hear your voice. I see that piece of junk you got there is working. My thoughts exactly. I was afraid it'd fall apart as soon as I laid my fingers on it. So how did you find everything? Do you like the place? It's hard to tell yet. I'm very impressed, that's for sure. You sound odd. Is everything okay? Yes, yes, yes. It's perfectly fine. It's just that I'm in awe. I mean, pleasantly surprised. This house is like a dream come true. So you do like it? You got me worried there for one second. I'm telling you, I'm going to turn this place into a factory of horror stories. Good. You ought to finish that book. I'm rooting for you, mate. You sure everything is in order? Well, I just got here. Let me have a look around, and I'll get back to you if I find anything strange. Excellent. I'll talk to you later. Alright, so that was Jerry, apparently the main character's best friend. And, oh my god, there's a Skype, a Skype thing in the corner of my screen. Go away. Go away. There we go. That's odd. Let's look around, shall we? Now, I realize this game may not be to, uh some of your taste, but, uh, screw you. And to more, my more, uh, sophisticated audience, I'm sure you're in for a treat. A fancy red clock, which sadly was not functioning. gibberish to me, so my character cannot play the piano. Just in the fireplace. switch. I intended to brighten up the whole place, but, to my surprise, the lights would not work. Great. Let's check out the cupboard. I certainly wouldn't have minded trying those expensive wines, except that nobody would have been around to pace me. I guess this is what happens when you don't water the plants for a long time. There are a lot of paintings in this house. Tablecloths, napkins, certainly not my thing. The place was full of exquisite, albeit aged, candle bras. I'll be honest, I don't much care for the paintings in this place. We shall have to get them removed. Or replaced. Alright. While we've been lugging around these suitcases, let's head upstairs. that Jerry said a nice room had been prepared for me upstairs. Alright. Is it in here? Oh. Sort of nice. The bed seemed to be comfortable, not too fancy for me. I agree. Whole place seems a little depressing. 
I didn't want to go through a bunch of trinkets and perfumes. Mm. It's a clock, I think. Random broken picture frame and, and some crappy paintings. Shirts. Those shirts look just like my own. Lazy developers bring some variety to the game for crying out loud. And I believe that was an Easter egg. What's this? Random paintings. Amazing! There was a safe behind the picture. Which I do not know the code to. And safe cracking is certainly not my experience. So, that's not the room. I don't think it is, anyway. Perhaps this is. That's more like it. I quickly realized that this had to be my room. It became evident why as I glimpsed the gorgeous view through the huge window. The view was inspiring. Jerry had picked the right room for me. It would be ideal when doing some work. A beautiful oak desk was standing against a window with an extraordinary and inspiring view. Alright, well... Let's put our suitcase down. Alright. Got the papers in our trusty typewriter. There we go. I was eager to start doing some work, but the idea of exploring... Ah! Stupid clock. Fine. Alright, well, we will continue our adventures in the Blackwood Manor at a later date.